something happened yesterday and I wanted to talk about it. And the reason I wanted to talk about it is that it's gotten a whole lot of attention in Miami and around the country. It's been on national news programs. It's been on Fox News. It's been on, there's been a huge amount of PR back and forth regarding the Inter-Miami soccer stadium deal. And I got myself injected into this simply by volunteering to narrate a commercial that was done by Billy Corbin, uh, the, the filmmaker. And he did a two and a half minute documentary about the soccer deal in Miami, talking about how bad a deal it was. The deal passed yesterday in the city commission four to one. And now there will be a soccer stadium right near the airport in Miami at a place called Mel Reese. There will be a hotel, there's gonna be shopping, retail, all sorts of things. And I wanted to give you my view of that and my reaction to it because there's been a lot of misunderstanding. I watched the, the show yesterday. The show is what happens, I did a show in 2009 when I had to go before a county commission and a city commission to get votes to get financing for a public-private stadium. Everybody has to go before the commission in Miami and wherever else you are in order to get anything done. Commissioners are voted in by voters. You'd be shocked at the turnout for these elections, but I digress. You'd be shocked at the abilities of many of these commissioners, but I digress. The bottom line is when you are in a place like Miami, you are dealing with people who have an unbelievably overinflated sense of ego and importance. As business people, we have a job to do. Our job is to get accomplished what we need to get accomplished at the governmental level. We do it by giving money to both sides of the aisle. We give it by being involved in our community. We get it accomplished by making sure that we have taken care of whatever needs to be taken care of for commissioners. If they want parks, we do parks. If they want to make sure that a certain amount of people get hired from the city of Miami, you make sure of that. What you saw yesterday is commissioners making requests of Jorge Mas, who stood there and took it on the chin. Because at the end of the day, what these commissioners wanted did not in any way impact his bottom line. He will be able to go public today and tell you, hey, we gave a lot to the community. He had a quote yesterday that made me laugh. Jorge Mas, he said to the commissioners that my main focus here is on increasing the tax rolls of your city. I, I love Jorge. I've known him for a very long time. There's not been a businessman in the world whose main focus is to increase the tax rolls of the place in which they do business. It's the opposite. They hire people to try to not pay taxes into the tax rolls of the places where they do business. Oh, you're right. It's way smart and obvious why Carnival Cruise doesn't have their ships registered in Miami, but they have them registered in Panama or the Bahamas. Hmm, why do they do that? Because they don't want to put money into the tax rolls of Miami. G-M-A-B. But it's a great line to say to commissioners because it gives them political cover and that's what they want because they want to get reelected. They don't know that anytime you support financing of a stadium, you don't get reelected. But they get to say this is a real estate deal. And that's all we were trying to say to the public through our commercial, his commercial that I narrated, is that the Inter-Miami deal is not a soccer deal. It's a real estate transaction. Jorge Mas is a real estate developer who is developing a huge parcel of land and is going to make a lot of money because real estate developers get to buy teams. Yes, I'm talking about you, Steve Ross, the related company. They get to put their names on museums. Yes, that's you, George Perez in Miami. People who are rich get richer. Someone on the board said that yesterday, actually. We need rich people because rich people do stuff in our community. You're damn right. Yes, they do. They also want tax breaks. And any deal they're going to do with the community is going to be a deal that is going to be good for them because they have to go get financing. And when you go to a bank to borrow money, you don't sit down with your spreadsheets and say, listen. These numbers don't look great. I get that. There's not a lot of positive cash flow, but boy, do you know what we're doing for the tax rolls in our community? 
Do you know how many soccer clinics we're going to have for boys and girls? Now that's got to be worth something. And the bankers say, hmm, that's worth nothing. It's very nice of you. That really is super sweet that you care about your community so much. But I'm really going to need to see numbers of revenue and free operating cash flow in order to lend you money to do what you're doing. You think that Jorge Mas and David Beckham are writing a check out of their checking account to build a soccer stadium? No, they're borrowing the money. You think they're taking money out of their ATM or time card to build the hotel? Come on. Are you guys kidding me? Any deal done by the private sector is good for the person doing the deal in the private sector. Just say it. I'm totally fine with it. I'd love to be a, a fly on the wall when Jorge Mas goes to meet with his bankers and asks to borrow the money and tries to say, yeah, I, I don't think the deal we just cut with Miami, we just got crushed at that committee at that commission meeting yesterday. We had to give in so much. We had to go up to 6% as a possible rent, rent increase. We had a total issue when it comes to the appraisal of the land. We're now going to get the average of the highest and the second highest, two companies, and they're going to be clean. They're not dirty, but you're dirty. I'm dirty. We're dirty. Who's dirty? Nobody's dirty. The, the land is dirty. The commissioner said there's no park. We can't even take our shoes. It was so crazy. The whole meeting, it brought me back to 2009 when I had to do the same thing. So believe me, I've got an amount of empathy for what Jorge Mas had to go through yesterday. Yes, I do. But he went to bed last night with a PR talking point of celebrating how great this was for Miami and for the city of Miami and for lowering taxes for all of you people. I want to know in two years, four years, six years, and 10 years, Please show me when your taxes have gone down. Just please. N-G-T-H. Not going to happen. And it's not that I didn't want the soccer deal to happen because you know where I stand on public stadiums and sports stadiums. I want soccer stadiums. I want there to be MLS in Miami. I want there to be baseball and football and Grand Prix and tennis, museums, art museums, science museums. I want to believe that we live in a cultural center, in a sports center of greatness. I just want people's eyes to be open. And I understand how the deals work because we basically play off the fact that everybody's eyes are closed. That's all. What about you? Are your eyes open? Well, it's been a week. Jorge Mas went out to dinner last night. He looked right at the taxpayers, right at the commissioners. He looked right at David Beckham, right at Victoria Spice and said, we did it. It's just business. Sorry, Samson and Corbin. It's nothing personal.